because what I'm getting for this particular group that I'm channeling for is your masculines are silent, but they are working on themselves. Like no more distractions, guys, is what I get from that. So... <laughs> to intuitive 717 i am back with another video i wanted to come on and share a quick reading with you guys because i ended up getting a song synchronicity and um, the song was unlearn by benny blanco i think it was but um, i'll post the lyrics for you guys and i honestly just wanted to pull a couple cards just to get some clarification around that because uh, the, the energy I've been getting for some of you or why I was guided to do a reading is because there's many of your masculines who are silent, but they don't want you guys to be worried or to um, go back into old um, patterns of thinking negatively about the connection. Because what I'm getting for this particular group that I'm channeling for is your masculines are silent, but they are working on themselves. Like no more distractions, guys, is what I get from that. So um, the reason I feel guided to pull these cards is because there's some of you out there who are just getting back into like, you know, communicating with your... That was weird. Some of you are just getting back into communicating with your masculines and um, like what I get by that is like you guys are jumping back onto social media, maybe Instagram, Facebook. Um, I want to share with you guys, do not get triggered by anything that you see from karmic partners trying to post illusions, okay guys? I don't know who that's meant for, but um, I want to tell you guys, like if you guys are getting triggered by like let's say karmic partners that they have talked to in the past or they were connected to in the past many of the masculines these karmic partners or like past partners they don't have access to the divine masculine okay that's why they're coming back on social media and you guys might find that like that the energy is very triggering in terms of like wondering if your masculine is like you know like up to old patterns they're not like i can you know assure that this group that i'm channeling for is like really wanting to send a message for you guys like they're working hard on self-development they're working on their spirituality many of them are not coming forward unless they can come together in like a respectful way a loving way like some of them are saying that they're not ready yet but they don't want you to think that they're off not working on themselves or this connection i guess is what i'm getting at <laughs> so if that resonates for you guys then um you know i definitely uh want to pull some cards around that energy okay so let's just see what comes up here out of the romance angels deck because it is a very like loving romantic energy that i'm getting where he's wanting the feminine to know like the reason I'm quiet and I'm working on myself is because of the love you've shown me, the love you've given me. It's the healthiest form of love I've ever received and I am not letting that go. Okay, these are way too many, but what I'll do is I'll actually just shuffle this pile to see. We can narrow down the messages here even further. And I'll take what's at the very bottom here, which is that new love. Yeah. They're focused on new love, new healthy love, guys. And that's what a lot of them are receiving messages, like when it comes to visions and like the way they feel, uh, thinking back and comparing the frequency, the vibe, the emotions, the feelings that they get with you. Like I hear a lot of them looking back now saying, wow, like my divine feminine is so pure and so sweet and so brave for putting her heart out on the line in the way she has even though it's been met with you know abandonment rejection it's like you guys never allowed the masculines to taint your ability to love and to love wholeheartedly and now that they're in this quiet space that is all that they can think about is this new type of love and being receptive towards it instead of running. And that's why I think that unlearn song popped up in my feed. When you guys, <laughs> when you guys read the lyrics to that song and then looking at the cards here that are drawn, I just think it's so beautiful and I feel like this message is coming out to keep a lot of the Divine Feminines focused on your connection and to keep the faith and to keep rooting and cheering for your masculines, especially those of you who are in a space of just doing your thing like a lot of you are busy these days but it still doesn't mean that the divine masculine is out of sight out of mind you guys are still holding space and you still are wishing them well and hoping that they're doing okay 
And again, if you are feeling tempted to go back to the triggers, or again, many of you are hopping back on social media because you're, again, doing your thing, you're feeling good, you're feeling um, in this healthy place of just being yourself after a really long time of obsessing over the connection. Now that you guys are giving it a little bit of space, your masculines are mirroring you in terms of giving themselves space, giving themselves a chance and the ability to think about what it is they really desire. And for many of them, healthy relationships, healthy love is what I get. And they're taking time to just unlearn a lot of their patterns, their behaviors, things that they were used to. Um, because again, what their divine feminine brings to the table, guys, it has transformed their life. Like other people in their lives are noticing as well. What I'm getting is like, because of this new type of love, let me read the message, guys. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. The message I get from this is that people are noticing in his life, okay? They're noticing that you, Divine Feminine, have had a profound impact on your masculine's life, making him healthier, happier. He's just feeling more vibrant and like, you know, he's got like the pep in his steps, whistling when he wakes up in the morning, singing, getting up extra early, having showers in the morning before he heads out to work. And those who are against your connection, like maybe like a mother or a sister or just any kind of energy that was like trying to you know give him advice maybe not maliciously but just trying to like say to him like you know maybe you should just move on or i don't know if this connection is right for you those same people are seeing the changes within your masculine and they're like oh my god like i think this thing is real here with this person like this whole twin flame thing this connection he's been talking about and feeling so deeply like he might be right about this because he is honestly acting like a new person. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, it's that new love that he is <laughs> feeling the vibration of. He can feel you energetically behind him, Divine Feminine. And although, again, he's quiet, many of you are still in separation, you're still in silence, but the energy behind it is that twintuitively, both of you know that something new is on the horizon. This new love, this new transformation of how it is you guys are perceiving the connection, feeling grateful for the connection, not taking things for granted when you guys do reconnect. Um, you know, these are all things that are swirling through his mind right now. And it is because, you know, you've helped him to love Divine Feminine. You've helped him to surrender to that feeling and, you know, I hear him going, I feel good. I knew that I would now. Like when he wakes up in the morning, he's like, you know, kind of like, I don't know, like putting his hat on his head all kind of fancy, you know, I don't know. It's just this really beautiful energy I get. And guys, I kid you not, it's been rainy all morning. And now that I'm like <laughs> sharing this energy in the reading, I kid you not, like the sun is out. I kid you not, check the weather in the GTA in Toronto, Ontario, okay? <laughs> now the sun is out and it is shining, but all morning it's been like so rainy. And then I felt the urge to do this reading and um, it just all of a sudden got sunny. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. It's like mirroring that energy of the divine masculines and how the feminine is making them feel. So I, this card I think comes up for the feminines here because I think that was the initial message is for him to send that out to you. Like, please trust that I am working on myself and I am working on this connection and receiving it and not only receiving it, divine feminines, but he wants to connect with you in a way that is healthier. He wants to show you the real him. Because the person he was before when you guys connected was a very wounded man who has been wronged, okay? He has been through the worst of it. And he is so thankful that you saw through that and that you were patient and compassionate with him. And now he's just asking you to hang on and trust. The situation is calling for you to both have faith. I, it doesn't even say both on here. <laughs> it just says to have faith, but that kind of slipped out. Um, and this may very well be faith for the masculines to trust that the feminine is hanging in there. Although she's MIA, although you may not know masculines what's going on, at times I feel like the universe orchestrates this for you to be able to trust her as well. And the reason I feel like the universe is calling for you to trust her is because you have to do healing around the past relationships that you've been in. So getting rid of stuff like jealousy, possessiveness, um, you know, when you do come together with your feminine and she's got like, healthy relationships with other males in her life that's going to be something for you to not get triggered over you know different things like that 
so yeah really beautiful strong messages for you guys to um you know take into account right now because yeah that's just mainly the energy in the air um that your masculine is wanting to send you okay so trust this new love trust this transformation even if you guys don't see movement right now trust the energy that you're feeling behind it if it feels exciting and nothing's happening don't let the nothing's happening get to you trust the energy trust your inner compass trust your heart space and what it's telling you so that you guys will know what to continue doing for many of the feminines it's just continuing to honor yourself honor your truth take care of yourself and for many of the masculines it's really using this quiet time to heal and to take care of yourself and to nurture and reparent your own inner child you know to really do a lot of these things that you've always wanted to do for yourself and now that you feel your feminine behind you you're finding it a lot easier to make these changes in your life okay and you're really seeing the benefits because you're feeling like a brand new man all right <laughs> i love you guys take care of yourselves and i hope that you've enjoyed this reading today okay i'll catch you guys in the next one bye